Hi, I'm Kim Weber with the Gimpy Gourmet, and today we're going to talk about vintage, useful things you may have in your kitchen. You all know what this is. It's a George Foreman grill. That's what you think it is. Do you know what it really is? It's a miraculous little machine that all you have to do is plug it in and you can have one of the fanciest flat tops, one of the easiest paninis, and one of the best cooking items that you can have in your kitchen. And here's the deal. You don't have to go out and buy one new. Oh no. You too can go to the thrift store and get a model like this for less than $7. Here's the thing, it might not be all together. The drip pan might be gone, but that doesn't matter because what you want to do is you want to be able to use this as a flat top and it works great. This is not a new idea. We stole this idea from Mike and Josh Green at the Brothers Green, but we're taking it to other heights. When one of the first things I got in my kitchen when I was sick and didn't quite want to mess up the kitchen was a George Foreman grill. And I can cook anything on a George Foreman grill. And I may even challenge Josh and Mike one of these days because I make a killer waffle on a George Foreman grill. It's great. You, like I say, all you do is plug it in. The light comes on. When the light goes off, you're ready to cook. And it's great. And you'll enjoy it. And it's easy. And it's safe. Prop it up. We're using two ramekins today. We do have a tray. You won't have to collect any grease this way, probably. But if you do fashion and you don't have the little tray, fashion yourself a little boat out of aluminum foil and it will work just fine. The George Foreman Grill, a wonderful vintage essential. The next useful thing we want to talk about is a vintage KitchenAid K5A mixer. Lynn inherited this from her mom. We figure it's probably from around the 60s. The K5A was started being made in 1941 and it's basically unchanged except for some cosmetic things up until 1978. We went back and looked up some stuff on the internet and we think this band and these things date this to the 1960s. And Lynn thinks she remembers her mom getting it then. And it's good as new. It works great. The only thing we're missing is a dough hook. And we think we can call KitchenAid and tell them we want a dough hook for this model. And we think that somewhere in a box in the back of the storage room at KitchenAid is that dough hook. So we're going to get it. Now, here is my word of advice to you about your KitchenAid mixer. If you go out and the hot pink really speaks to you, and you think, I really need a hot pink KitchenAid mixer, and it's $399 or $329 or something like that, I want you to remember that 50 years from now, that hot pink KitchenAid mixer will be passed down to somebody in your family who may look at it and go, I don't know about this hot pink mixer. Now, it might look good in your kitchen right now, but that might not be what you, your kin want. So I'm just saying, think about a classic color. Think about a white or a stainless steel. Or, you know, if what speaks to your heart is the apple green, it speaks to mine, but I know better. This thing is gonna last over 50 years. 
This one, it, hey, we're going for 60 on this one. So we think it's 55 years old. We're moving. We're gonna, we're gonna get the, the mileage out of this one. So anyway, I want you to, and we've still got the original book that goes along with it. And it's got some recipes in here that you might see later on in this series. But anyway, a useful thing, a kitchen aid, and let me read the model to you again. Model K5A is a workhorse. And if you can find one somewhere other than eBay where they're $399, but if you can find one at a yard sale or at a second hand store, get it. It'll probably still work and you'll be glad you have it. This next useful thing is a GE corded electric knife. Also from the 1960s, also from the archives of Lynn's family home. It was bought to carve the turkeys or whatever the holiday meats were and to not run an oomph before you got the whole family served. So this still works. You may have seen it in our video on Iron Round. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out and you'll see this in action. The good thing about a corded knife is it gives you oomph from the first slice to the last and you need that. Lynn wanted you to know that she bought one and had it for about 20 years. It was a non-corded, it was a, not an electric knife. Would that be, would, that would be an electric knife, but it wasn't corded. And it, A, flew to pieces, but B, you could never count on it all the way through. You had to stick it back in the charger and let, and that, if you're, if you haven't got your meat yet, that's not really a good thing. So anyway, you want to look for a corded electric knife. And if you go to the secondhand stores, you can probably find one of these as well. So this is a very useful thing, a GE corded electric knife. Now go through your archives. Go see if your mom has a KitchenAid that she's ready to let go of because she wants a brand new pink one. Go ahead and take it. Go ahead and see if you can't find the George Foreman grill at the second hand store for less than $7. We did. And probably somewhere along the lines while you're at that same second hand store, you can find where kids have cleaned out dad's stuff and gotten rid of his corded electric knife. Shame on them, but good for you. You can probably find one. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so you can get more on our Useful Things series. We know lots of stuff that's useful and we're gonna share it with you and tell you why and tell you why you ought to have it. And we hope that you've enjoyed spending time with us. And remember, as Warren Zevon said, enjoy every sandwich. that's what it's all about. I am told it comes back to you many fold. Just be true, and all that sweet stuff comes back to you. Be the apple of somebody's eye. Be that.